Hey guys, what's up? Zach Calhoun here from clownpano.com. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I have a new feature to release today, and I'm excited about it because it's really cool. It's going to help you further the value and the wonderful things you can create on Cloud Piano, the 360 virtual tour platform. If you don't know who we are, we are the world's best 360 virtual tour platform. You can create interactive media, immersive media, all on Cloud Piano, and we utilize 360 technology to do so. So uh, we're featured by all kinds of major brands, integrations like Realer.com, Zillow, big brands use us. If you don't know who we are, go Pro Plus today and start testing out all our fun features and join the community today. All right, so let's let's hop into the Cloud Piano Editor so I can show you um, this new feature. And it's actually kind of hidden, uh, but it is easy to access. So once you have your uh, 360 photos uploaded, you can now right click on the scene and you'll see something new. When you right click, you have three options that appear. Option number one is capture 2D image. Option number two is capture 2D image and edit. And option number three is capture 360 image. So I'm going to walk you through these three options and show you what it looks like. So here we go. If I click capture 2D image, whatever I'm looking at, in this case hits the den, will appear as a 2D still image on my browser. So I basically take a screen capture of what I'm looking at and it creates an asset for me as I want to use it. I just right click and it's a 2D still image, which is really nice. So you can capture those uh, throughout the tour. You can add them to other places. You can use them for all kinds of stuff. But for now, you just right click and click capture and takes a quick screenshot, which is nice. So you can use this for all types of collaboration tools. And I'm going to further explain some even better collaboration here in a moment. Also, we can capture the full 360 image, which I'll show you in a second. And the second one I like a lot. It's called capture 2D image and edit. So if you click there, wherever you're looking, it will pull up an editor. So wherever you're looking, whatever direction you are facing, basically it takes a screenshot and you pull up an editor. So what's this editor do? So we're gonna walk through some of the options today and you can quickly uh, play around with this as well yourself on your Cloud Pano account. I can draw on the image so I can change, if I wanna free draw, so if I wanna draw on this window, I can, if I want to create a straight line, I can create a straight line. I can change the color as well. I want to change it to red, et cetera. So that's how that works. And if, if I change the range, it just changes how thick that image of that line is. I can also add shapes like a circle, a triangle, a square. Say I want to highlight certain things. If I, if I want to fill in that triangle with a, with a color, I can do that. You could also increase the, uh, the stroke size as well. Also, we can add icons. So all types of icons here. We have stars, we have hearts, we have a location icon. Uh, you can even open up your library and add icons that are really whatever icon you have within your library. So I can add a, let me see. Let's do this one right here. So I can add an icon from, from my library. Just like that, I can edit and change the size as well. Also, I can add text. So I can bold, italic, and underline the text as well too. So if I was using this as a collaboration tool, I would say, this is the ceiling. It's kind of hard to read because it's yellow. So we're gonna see if we can change the color here. Let's change it to blue. There we go, why not? You can center it, you can right align it. You can increase the text size, which is nice as well. Let's see if I can do it post adding. Yes, I can, great. So I can change the text size, I can make it bold. I can essentially mark up any 2D still I want to, which is really wonderful for a lot of different reasons. Also, check this out. We have some pretty cool filters we also added in. So we can take the image and turn it grayscale. We can put up a couple of different, we, we can blur the image. So see how it's blurred. We can invert the colors, make it look kind of funky. We can sharpen the image. Um, we can remove white. Okay, we can we can add some brightness as well if I wanted to, or make it dark. And we can also um, add some noise. I'm not sure why you would, but you could. And we can pixelate it and color filter as well. So some cool things we can do here. 
um, and it's one to show you can tint it, you can multiply, and you can blend it. The point of what I'm trying to show you is there's a lot of stuff you can do that you can um, essentially mark up an image and collaborate with that image however you think is important. So if you want to design a cover image for your virtual tour, for your social media, you could do that right here inside the editor and add whatever icon you want and really kind of go out with it. Um, so also you can resize the image, so change the width and height. You can crop the image as well. So say I want to crop out a certain portion of the image. Um, and of course, I already mentioned draw, shapes, icons, and text, and some of the filter options as well. And then you just click download, and you can download that image as well. And of course, up here on the top, I can say undo, or I can look at my history of changes, or I can just, you can just click reset and take it all off. So that's a quick editor. I just want to show that to you. It's a really cool feature. You can do a lot with that. Um, and you can use it, or, or your clients can use it as well, too, as a helpful tool to help for you as you uh, go about bringing robust solutions for your customers and clients. So there's a lot of ways to use this um, as a collaboration tool and a customization tool for your clients. Um, I'm going to exit without saving here. Also, one last thing, you can also capture 360 images. This is super convenient. Basically, it just takes a screenshot of that previous image and you can pull it into your desktop. In this case, right here, I'm going to show you. So this is what the image looks like uh, on my desktop. What's nice about that is if you have a 360 image that is maybe on a separate tour and you can't find it on your desktop or you lost it or it's an old one, but you want to use it, use it again in a, in a new tour, just right click and download. And there it is. It's available to you. Um, no problem. So that is the picture markup feature. All you have to do is in your editor is to just right click and you can start editing, capture to the, to the image, take a screenshot capture 2D image and edit, and where you can capture a 360 image just by right clicking, just by right clicking. So um, that's how that works. I hope it's pretty straightforward. You can play with this today already in your Cloud Pano account. Just log in at app.cloudpano.com and make sure you upgrade today to Cloud Pano Pro Plus. Click the big green button, upgrade your account, and, get, and start using all the amazing features on Cloud Pano. I'll see you inside, and thank you so much for being a member of our community. Talk soon. Zach Calhoun.